Cheryl today. Try and get out of the way. So, <clears throat> for those of you who have not been to Sunday school, we have had. Um, I'm going to move this chair over here. Um, we have had Castle Courage this last four months. So we have. I'll introduce our staff here in a little bit, but. Yes, it's warm in here. Um, there's some help in jumping around and praising God. Um, so um, we've had Castle Courage the last four months. So if you have not had a chance to see Castle Courage in the Sunday School Wing, I suggest you take a look now because in a week and a half it will be gone. And we are going to start our new four-month theme, which is our Glad Scientists. So we have 16 lessons, I believe, and every single Sunday um, from January through April, we will be having at least one experiment that our scientists will be doing. So <clears throat> we may get a little messy back there. We may get a little loud back there. So if you do not want to sit in this corner during Sunday school, I suggest you move over to this side because you will hear us if you sit on this side. I don't know if you heard, today we had cupcakes, so that was a big treat because Miss Cheryl does not usually allow cupcakes <laughs> or treats. We try to keep them a little bit more, less sugary stuff. So um, just so parents know, we do not give our kids sugary treats normally on Sundays. It's usually a small treat and water. We don't even give them juice. So we try to keep them as least hyper as they come into family church second service as we possibly can. <clears throat> There's no guarantees though, so please do not come to me and say my chill when we're not still there in Sunday or second service. That's not my fault. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we're going to um, have a short skit, it's about a three and a half minute skit or skit, sorry, video, and that will kind of show you what we've been doing back in the Sunday school room. So if you have kids and you do not make it to 9.30 service, I highly recommend you come in and bring in your kids to the 9.30 service um, for the Sunday school because our kids have an awesome time, the staff has an awesome time, so here's our video. Wow. Well, if it would just play. <laughs> Hold on. I don't even understand why I'm making such a big deal. 
must forgive him. Our Father has taught us that we must be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as we are. that we have what um, is like a children's church time. So we have all the kids. Sunday school runs from ages three years old up to fifth grade back there. So we have a like children's church. We have songs. Um, we have our story. And then we break off into the two groups, um, five years, or kindergarten, five, four, and three, um, go into their own classroom for crafts. And then um, we have the older kids go into their classroom for crafts. This, um, this theme, we um, were um, privileged to have some members added to our team, so we're very excited. So we learned some new things in Sunday school. So right now, everyone that is in our Sunday school class, I need you to come up front, up here on the stage. So Bronson, Jesse, Audrey, we have a little Thank you. 
snippet of the um, lesson and I try to make it theme. So this this theme has been all castles or dragons or knights or something like that. So please go over them with them. Alright, so Miss Noel, Miss Noel's in the back, in the way. Um, <clears throat> Noel knows sign language, so she has taught the older kids how to sign, memorize and then sign their this memory verse. So, big, big gestures, you guys. Okay? All right, let her roll. Thank you. 
going to introduce the staff. So if the staff can make their way up front here and help with our last song. So we have Sir Laughs a Lot today. Boys. Yeah. And then we have um, uh, Princess Nicole. Yeah. We have um, Prince Welshie. Yeah. You may want to slip down that way, sir, your highness. Don't trip over the children. <laughs> All right. And then uh, we have Lady Chells, who's been leading our songs. And then uh, our new additions, well, okay, Miss Birdie. So, Lady Birdie, please come. <laughs> You may want to go down that way and maybe have a room. And then we have two new additions to this um, theme, about midway through the theme. So we have a Lady Melissa and a Lady Noelle. Miss Kimberly, Lady Kimberly. Yeah. Lady Kimberly helps us with our snacks because she has a very important role with our kids. <laughs> and they're always asking, what's your snack? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this next song, like I said, um, was a little bit harder for them to learn. And it's Matt Mauer's uh, The Lord's Prayer. I keep wanting to say it in my father's house because that's how it's going to But. <clears throat> Um, so, you guys, sign your name, sing loud, Natalie, Lily, sing loud. <laughs>
you guys rocked it. Thank you. So I need this whole group to come and sit on the floor right here. Me and Daniel, you stay. Sorry. You guys You gotta be on the floor and then turn around so you can see what's going on on the stage. Group, don't step on the lips. Don't step on the lips. There's lots of room, guys. You don't sit right in front of me. Girls, I need you to sit on the floor. And Mr. Robbie. <laughs> Follow Mr. Rex. Relax a lot. Ava and Freddie and Emily, I need you to sit on the floor, please. Ava. Robbie, I have a special place for you. You're going to have to sit next to these beautiful ladies today. Okay, I, I need you guys close because remember I said you had to listen to. Remember? I know, they still call him Captain J from Wind of the Pirates. <laughs> All right. All right, so if you noticed in the little video, um, we do a skit. We have been doing skits for every lesson that we have, and it goes along with um, the lesson that we're doing. So, um, so typically we have Prince Will, she used to last a lot. Um, the whole royal team is up here. <clears throat> and then um, Daniel Bard. So we've used a couple of our older kids. We've used Daniel McGuire and Aaliyah for um, uh, in part of our skits to kind of incorporate the older kids, right? Just on this one. Because they're older, right? You get to that age where, like, <laughs> so keep them interested. Hang on a second. I need to find the water. I've talked way too much and sang too much. Those of you are freezing to death, I'm sorry, but it's really warm up here. All right, here we go. <laughs> Daniel Barr and Sir Lathalot Sir Lath sitting in the throne room. Gather around, girls, for the tale of the Prince of Peace. Let your kingdom come. So why did the man buy on Amazonia a chicken or an egg? I don't know. Why did the man buy a chicken and an egg in Amazonia? Because he wanted to see which came first, the chicken or the egg. But I'm
Sorry, we're missing some of our um, tutorial subjects. that the prophet Isaiah said this about him. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. These will be his royal titles, wonderful, counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His ever-expanding peaceful government will never end. He will rule with the perfect fairness and justice from the throne of his father David. The Prince of Peace and born in Bethlehem, in aid of lowly goats to stable, where sheep and cattle would have been kept, the mother Mary wrapped in a cloth, shepherd for the new of the newborn king. That's right, Daniel Barber. Mary and Joseph were also told by an angel to come to, to name the child Jesus. God is with us. And so it is. This tiny baby, the Prince of Peace, came into the world to be our Savior, our King of Kings, so we could have peace in our lives forevermore. He came from heaven to be right here in our hearts. His kingdom came to us. Huzzah! To help celebrate the birth of the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, we have gifts for all of you. Huzzah! All right, so we have little gifts that our ladies are going to hand out to the kids. Parents, parents, please listen. They are stapled shut. Please keep them stapled shut until you get into your car or home. Because there's some snow pieces in there. And so it is, this Prince of Peace shall reign forevermore. He would become our sacrifice, our bridge to God, so that we might have life and peace forevermore. Our Father, which art in heaven, came down to be right here in our hearts. Emmanuel, God with us. And the congregation said, Huzzah! Huzzah! Very good. Thank you. And that is our program for the kids. Yeah.